Hello, dear friends across the globe. Welcome to dedicate your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 11. Can you believe it? Have courage. Let's get started. Okay, my darling friends, let's begin in extended child's pose today. Yay! As always, if this pose is not your jam, make an adjustment, find a nice place where you can get still and start to spiral into this moment. Benji's getting settled in his shape. I invite you to get settled in your shape and together as one. Let's take a deep breath in. All right, I invite you to close your eyes and let's begin this practice by just acknowledging how awesome you are for dedicating this time and this energy for yourself. This takes courage, it really does. It's not easy to show up and look inside and see what's there. It's not always easy to work through the things rather than just avoid it. So let's begin with a little gratitude and a little acknowledgement for how awesome you are for showing up here today. Take a deep breath in and empty it out. One more breath in. And exhale. Awesome. Let's inhale, slowly come up to all fours. Keep your knees as wide as your yoga mat. <clears throat> Hands come to the earth. We're gonna bring the left fingertips all the way up towards the sky here, just nice and easy. Make sure you're not jerking yourself around here. We jerk ourselves around off the yoga mat plenty, right? Moving fast from one place to the other. So here's an opportunity to soften. So, so think of it more as a reach rather than, a, right? Yesterday's practice taught us to kind of be present with that expansion. See if you can find expansion here, deepen your breath and reach. Focus on the sensation over the shape. So you might be here. Cool, then inhale. And on your exhale, you're gonna thread the needle, send the left fingertips in and underneath the bridge of the left uh, excuse me, your right arm. Good, then inhale, press through your right hand. Take it all the way back up. Reach and exhale, twisting. Beautiful, one more inhale, reach for the sky. Breathe in, exhale, take it in and underneath the bridge of the right arm and then this time pause here. Make sure your knees are nice and wide here. Breathe into the upper back body, and you can take any variation you like with your right hand, maybe reaching the right fingertips all the way forward with a straight arm, maybe taking your right hand to the small of your back, the sacrum, or using your left, excuse me, right hand on the earth to get a little bit of a deeper stretch in the upper left back body. Remember the process, the practice is the candy, not the end product. So whatever you're coming onto the mat with today is all good. From your center, from the core of your being, slowly unravel. Come back to all fours. And we'll do the same little ditty daddy do on the right side. So here we go, inhale, reaching up. Spread the right fingertips. Just notice how you feel here. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, thread the needle, right fingertips underneath the bridge of the left arm, feel it out. Try to create a full body awareness, a full body experience here. Here we go, pressing into the left hand. Inhale, reach it up, spread the right fingertips. And exhale, big twist, threading the needle. Nice, and then one more big inhale. Find that expansion, reach for the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, 
And let's lean into this yummy posture for a second. Let's breathe into the upper back body. And breathe into the belly. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. Maybe taking a little variation with the left hand, left arm. Should feel really good. All right, then use your left palm. Find that hand to earth connection here as you slowly unravel. And we'll come back to all fours. Walk the knees underneath the hips. Curl the thy toes under and take the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Start to pedal it, pedal it out, excuse me, immediately. Just feeling that fresh blood circulate through the legs. And fresh oxygen in the lungs. And then when you're ready, bend the knees generously. Let your belly reach towards the tops of the thighs. Inhale to look forward. Careful not to crunch the back of the neck. And then exhale to make your way to the top. Forward fold. Use this as an opportunity to check in. So the repetition of this posture each day, giving us an opportunity to check in with what's going on now, not what, what's, what was going on yesterday or what might happen tomorrow, but right now. the courage to be with what is. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, tuck the chin, and roll it up nice and slow. And right away as you align head over heart, heart over pelvis, begin to shift your weight gently over to your left foot, and we're gonna imagine there's a, like a marionette string pulling our right knee up high. We'll connect to our core. We'll integrate all of the things we've learned together thus far as we come into a standing one-legged Tadasana. Have courage. Hands on the waistline here. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Then interlace the fingertips and catch your right knee, squeeze it up in towards your chest. So right away, this isn't working for you. You can just work with the big toe on the ground, palms at the heart, rotate the ankle one way and then the other. Awesome, awesome. Then slowly we're gonna release, bring the hands to the heart, listen carefully. You're gonna slowly kick your right foot all the way back to a nice high lunge. Check it out, make sure you're not on a tight rope, widen your stance if you need to. And then settle in here, breathe. Bend your back knee if you need. Awesome work, take a deep breath in, a long breath out. On your next inhale, reach for the sky. You got it, inhale. Exhale, <sighs> create space, big beach ball up and overhead. Find that loop of energy, that lift up through the front body, that grounding through the back body. And then check it out, inhale in. Exhale, slowly coming forward onto your right toes, keeping the front knee over the front ankle. You're gonna send the fingertips back. We're gonna come to those airplane arms from yesterday and once again, find that expansion as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now imagine you're looking into like a reflection of a, a, a body of water, maybe a pond. You're looking and you're getting your reflection back. So there's length in the neck here. Give yourself that image, seeing your face. I like to think of that moment in Zoolander where he's like, who am I? Okay, and then turn on your core, bend your right knee, hands are gonna come slowly to the heart, and with control, we're gonna step it all the way back up to mountain pose. Awesome work. Breathe in, breathe out. Shift your weight to your right foot. Hands come to the waistline. And here we go, lifting up from the left knee this time. And be careful here, I'm not collapsing into my right hip, but using everything I've learned so far to create this um, yielding, this pressing away from the earth. So as I lift my left knee, I'm pressing away from the earth with my right foot. And the reason we start with the hands on the waistline is to make sure we're not just kind of catching and holding, kind of like we tend to do in tree, but we're really integrating everything, all of the muscles, creating stability in the joints. And then we can come and we can capture the flag. So bring your left knee in towards your chest. We can also be working here and rotate the ankle one way and then the other. Cool. 
Cool, take another deep breath in. Find that um, balance of opposition. So lifting through the front, grounding through the back. You might feel your right glute turn on here. Okay, here we go, inhale in. Exhale, slowly bring the hands to the heart. Soft bend in your standing leg. Again, strengthening that standing leg here as we slowly kick the left foot back. Step it all the way, come into a nice high lunge. Hmm. Then notice what's going on with the hips. You might be a little bit too narrow here, so you can just widen your stance so you can find that inner support system. Cool. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach for the sky, take up space. Beautiful, inhale in again. Exhale, slowly bend the elbows. Send the fingertips back. We find those airplane arms, front knee over front ankle. I'm gonna lift up onto my left toes. I'm engaging through the core. Shoulder blades drawing together. And then the image of, again, looking out into the pond, looking, having the courage to ah, really look, see who's there, what's up. Breathing deep, squeezing inner thighs to the midline, lifting from the pelvic floor, you got it. Then soft and easy, guys. Here we go. Bring the hands together at the heart. Bend your back knee with control. Here we go. From center. You got it. Inhale in. Exhale. Step it forward. Awesome. Samastitihi. We have that four-part equal standing here. Quiet mountain. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Good, now listen carefully. Inhale, send the fingertips out left to right, Texas T. Exhale, hands to heart. Chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, fingertips float up towards the sky. Exhale, rain it down, wiggle the fingertips, let something go. Inhale, halfway lift, your version, any version. Find length of the neck. And exhale to soften and release. Beautiful, plant the palms, step the right toes back, step the left toes back. Inhale in here, hollow body, press away from your yoga mat, a little bit of core, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, in this downward dog, bring your toes together, legs together, toes together. Inhale in, exhale, just bend the knees a little bit, you're gonna rock onto the right side, uh, excuse me, outer edge of your right foot. Then slowly come back to center, rock onto the left side. And then back and forth a couple times. Feeling the obliques turn on here. Strong in the shoulders. And then coming back to center after you've evened it out, we'll bend the knees. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Feet together or hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. Exhale to soften and fold. Inhale, root to rise here, big breath, big stretch. Exhale, back all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, moving with your breath, find length. Exhale to soften and fold, getting the juices flowing. Plant the palms, step it back, plank pose or half plank. Hollow body, so we're hugging the low ribs in. We're pressing away from the yoga mat. We're building strength mindfully. We're here for three, two, take it to downward dog. Breathe out, one. Awesome work. Anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward all the way, step it up. From here, keep the back heel lifted, squeeze inner thighs together. You can always come on the back knee if you're feeling a little low energy today. Slowly we rise up, send the fingertips to the sky. Beautiful, inhale in, send the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, Anjali Mudra. All right, so here we go again. Front knee over front ankle, I'm gonna lean forward. Come onto the tippy tip toes of my left foot. Inhale in, exhale, step it up, just halfway. Pause here again, strengthening that standing leg, strengthening that right booty. Breathe in deep and then looking forward, forward, come onto your left big toe. Have courage, draw the shoulder blades together actively. Keep looking, looking into the pond. Maybe left leg begins to float up. Lift from your left inner thigh. Hold on to the integrity that you've built in your center, your core, your spine, that awareness in the shoulders, shoulder blades coming together. Beautiful. 
So have the courage to throw yourself off balance. Maybe you take a variation here, finding airplane arms or even interlacing the fingertips behind the back. Remembering your breath. All right, listen carefully. Draw the navel in. Slowly begin to bend the left knee. You're gonna come into your standing one-legged Tadasana from here. Send the fingertips up towards the sky. Strong standing leg, reach, reach, reach. Inhale, lift the left knee. And then exhale, hands to heart. Samastitihi. Mountain. Beautiful. Here we go, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, Texas T. Exhale, hands to heart. You got it, chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, rain it down, nice and slow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. Plant the palms, step it back, plank pose, your version, find that hollow body. Breathing deep, shoulder blades are going left to right here. Neck is nice and long. Three, two, you are a strong downward facing dog. Gorgeous, take a deep breath in here, you're doing great. Long breath out. Great, anchor the right heel, slide the left leg up high. On an exhale, bring it all the way up and in, step it up lightly. Keep the back heel lifted, squeezing your thighs, find that inner support system, and you got it. Inhale, reach for the sky. Check in, front knee over front ankle, strong base. Inhale, reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands slide down to the heart. All right, try to keep sternum lifting up to the thumbs, shoulder blades drawing together. We're gonna slowly just shift forward, keeping that integrity in the spine. Bend your back knee, and nice and slow, just step it up halfway. Left leg, strong, getting strong, slow and steady. Hold on to your breath. And then find the image of looking into the pond as you shift forward. I'm not rounding through the spine, I'm working hard, building strength in the muscles of the back body, building strength in the muscles of the core, the left glute, strong left leg. And then slowly I lift up onto my right big toe. Don't think about warrior three guys, particularly those who have a lot of um, yoga under the belt, yoga asana under the belt. Give yourself the image of looking in the pond, strong leg, and continue to look down at your reflection as maybe we float the right inner thigh all the way up. Again, shoulder blades drawing together. <sighs> Drop the right hip down. So if you're here opening up, we'll save that for half moons. <laughs> nice and slow with the breath, <sighs> nice and with control. Then maybe feeling, if you're feeling adventurous, having a little courage to Experiment here. Maybe it's just the courage to be here at all. You're doing great. Continue with the breath. Make it your own. And if you fall, we'll catch you. Gaze is forward, looking into your reflection. You're doing awesome. Take one more breath wherever you are. Find that expansive breath. And then on an exhale, here we go, hands at the heart. We're gonna slowly soften through both knees. You're gonna bring your right knee all the way through. You have everything you need here. You're strong, stick with it. Just hold on to your focus, standing one-legged Tadasana. Send the fingertips up towards the sky. Here we go, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Lift your right knee up a little bit higher. Then palms come together and we slow and with control release everything down. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Deep breath in and a long breath out. One more deep breath in, empty it out. Slowly release the fingertips down and without looking down. So have the courage. You, you know that ground is there for you, right? You could step front, back, side to side. You don't need to look down. So without looking down, see if you can bring your feet as wide as your mat. It's over here. Okay, great. And then turn your toes out so they're just spilling off the edges of your mat if you're on a yoga mat. Okay, and then we're gonna inhale. Last time, reach for the sky. Exhale, you have everything you need. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna drop your center down. Stay connected, stay rooted through all four corners of the feet and we're gonna come into a nice yogi squat. Fingertips, hands can come to the earth for some support, some connection. If the hips are going rear, 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 Totally normal. So maybe lift the heels, walk the toes in. 
more of a froggy gesture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be in a little yogi squat here, your version, either a little malasana variation or a froggy, or if bakasana is in your practice or you want to create a little bakasana in your home practice, we'll work just for a moment here, bringing the hands forward, walking the toes together. And we'll do a little um, more of this as we go on through the practice, but just a little play today. We're gonna lift the hips up high, drag the hands towards the body. Knees are gonna go up towards the armpit and your gaze is gonna be forward, just as we've been practicing looking in the reflection. That's as far as you really need to go. So keeping that gaze forward, looking into the reflection, you can rock a little back and forth, getting your center involved. And maybe you lift one toe up, and maybe the other. And then maybe today you do catch a little height, but don't worry if you do not today. <sighs> Main goal today is to continue looking forward, finding that reflection in the pond. And if you're like, mm, not for me today, <laughs> Mishler, then a little hip release here or a lot of hip release here. Some great release for the foot, the feet. All right, and wherever you are, go ahead and release that. And we'll come to a seat. Rotate the wrist if you need. And just do a gentle twist to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring it back to center, gentle twist to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out, come back to center. Hands come together. We'll bring them right up to the third eye. Way to show up. Way to be awesome. It takes courage. May this be an awesome reminder and an um, important motivator to help us all, me included, continue to show up for ourselves on the mat and off the mat. With palms together at third eye or at your forehead, may we always have the courage to see the truth. Nice work, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.